This is a key to quiz three. And on quiz three, you want to solve absolute value equations. And so number one, you have this absolute value equation. Um, you have the absolute value of 3x minus 5, and then plus 2 is equal to 8. Now remember, when solving this absolute value equation, you need to get the absolute value expression by itself. And so the first thing you have to do is subtract 2 from both sides. And so when I subtract 2 from both sides and then combining like terms, 2 and negative 2 is 0, I get the absolute value of 3x minus 5 plus 0 is the absolute value of 3x minus 5. And then that's going to equal, and then 8 subtract 2 is 6. Now once you get to that point, Remember, um, you have the absolute value of 3x minus 5 equals 6. So in order, in order for those two sides to be equal to each other, in order for this equation to be a true statement, if 3x minus 5, that expression that's inside the absolute value, uh, if that's positive, then that means that this expression and 6 have to be equal to each other. If 3x minus 5 is negative, then, then this expression and 6 are opposite. So to get those to be equal, we have to take the opposite of 6. So we get 3x minus 5 is equal to the opposite of 6. All right, so that's how you write. You had to write it. So you had to break it apart into two uh, separate linear equations. So, so once you get the absolute value by itself, you split it apart into two equations in which you do not have the absolute value expression anymore. And so now we went from an absolute value equation to two linear equations. And so I'm going to add 5 to both sides. And when I combine like terms, this is 0. 3x plus 0 is 3x. Equal 6 plus 5 is 11. And then divide both sides by 3 to get, the, uh, to get x by itself. So the coefficient of the x is 3. So this is uh, 3 times x. The opposite of multiplication is division. And so there's one of your solutions. So x equals 11 thirds. Or if you wanted to, you could write it as a uh, mixed number, which is uh, 3 and 2 thirds. All right, so that's number one. Over here, uh, well, the first solution. Over here, I'm going to add 5 to both sides. Combine like terms. This is 0. I get 3x equals a negative 6 plus 5 is a negative 1. Um, to get x by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 3, because this is multiplication, and the opposite of multiplication is division. Remember, what you do to one side, you do to the other. So you have to show that. You have to show that you're dividing both sides by 3. And so 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times x is x equals negative 1 third. And that's it. So um, remember, you cannot write this as a as a uh, mixed number because one-third, although this is negative, one-third is, is not an, um, an improper fraction. It's a proper fraction. All right, so that's number one. Okay, number two, we have this equation, negative three times the absolute value of 2x plus one is equal to negative 12. Now, be careful. Uh, many students, when they see this, they think of this as parentheses and they want to distribute. This is a negative number. If you distribute a negative number in here and you rewrite this into two separate equations, you're going to not get the correct solutions. So you have to be careful. This is not parentheses, so do not distribute the negative 3. So the first thing you had to do, let me go ahead and rewrite this over. So the first thing you had to do was to divide, because it's multiplication, negative 3 times, right? The opposite of multiplication is division. So you had to divide both sides by negative 3. So negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1. 1 times the absolute value of 2x plus 1 is the absolute value of 2x plus 1 equal, and then a negative 3 divided by, I'm sorry, negative 12 divided by negative 3 is 4. All right, so now you have the absolute value expression by itself, and remember what this means. So so the, you have the absolute value of 2x plus 1, and in order for those two sides to be equal to each other, if 2x plus 1 is a positive number, whatever you substitute for x, then this must equal 4. So 2x plus 1 must equal 4. If it's negative, then that means that this is the opposite of 4. So in other words, 2x plus 1 has to equal negative 4. All right, and so that's what you did. So you had to rewrite this as two separate equations. So notice 4, negative 4. 
So once you go from an absolute value equation to, to these two linear equations, it's just a matter of you getting x by itself. So if I subtract 1 from both sides, I get 2x equals 3. Divide both sides by 2, I get x to be 3 halves, or 1 and 1 half. Over here, subtract 1 from both sides, I get, and combine like terms, this is 0. I get 2x equals a, um, let's see, negative 5, right? And then divide both sides by 2, I get x to be negative 5 halves, or negative 2 and uh, 1 half. Negative 2 and 1 half. All right, and so that is the key to uh, quiz number three.